What is up everybody, Dan in the Fireman here. Today we have a learner rider going a little bit too wide in a tight turn from a stop. And we're gonna go over exactly what happened, how it happened, and then what you can do so that you don't do this for yourself, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into it and watch what happens. Oh God, he did a wheelie. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Mm. Mm, good. All right, pretty typical common mistake. This happens all the time, especially in parking lot practice. And you're like, oh man, I screwed up. I went over the cone. Let's go back and try it again. So that's kind of where I'm getting at is that you want to practice your tight turns from a stop, U-turns, figure eights, all those things in a parking lot, get really proficient in it and then apply that to the road. And this is exactly where slow speed maneuvers is extremely important. So if you wanna know more about that, go to ddfmcrew.com and you're gonna find a lot of parking lot practice and it's absolutely free. And while you're there, check out ddfmcrew.com slash motorcycle giveaway. We're actually giving away a 2019 Honda CBR 300R with ABS. So if you accidentally slam it, you're gonna have a rider aid there. So don't do that though. But we're giving it away, so check it out. Links in the description. I can't wait to see who's gonna be the winner. The main thing here is ddfmcrew.com because I do have the parking lot practice. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So this right here is more so that tight turn from a stop, okay? We're turning right from a straight perspective and then going right perpendicularly. Okay, so there we go, we're moving and a little bit too much throttle right there. So we lost a little bit of a balance. So this is where counterweighting is extremely important. So counterweight while turning the handlebars because we're going so slow. Counter steering, counterweight's a little bit different. I explained that in my other videos. So right here, lost a little bit of balance. And then when we lost a little bit of balance, our right hand is a definite control for the handlebar, but it's also the main control of our front brake and then our throttle. So once we did this and lost a little control, we gave it a little bit of too much gas, gave it a little bit too much throttle, and you're gonna see him blip up almost like, kind of like a wheelie. All it is is just the weight transferring to the back, and then he's gonna go a little bit too fast, and then it goes into a straight line. Boop, there it is. Straight line, moving off, off the road. Very common mistake. Something that happens with new riders or old riders, uh, typically with the older riders and more experienced riders is because they zoned out, weren't paying attention. With new riders, you're zoned in, trying your hardest, and just don't have the gross motor skills to make it happen. And this is why you need to practice, practice, practice. We have free training, everybody. I want you to go out and practice and have this free training. I want you to do your tight turns. I want you to do your U-turns figure eight, swerving, braking, everything. Because when you go out on the road, if you make a mistake, that's it. If you're in the parking lot, make a mistake, you can try again, try again, try again, and you can actually navigate a lot of these things without these added hazards. The main thing here is to practice, 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 especially if you're a beginner rider. And if you join up on the website for the beginner giveaway, you actually get my ebook for free. So make sure you check it out, see if you like it. But with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe and I'll see you around.